Hey YouTube, how's it going? So anyways, today I'm going to be doing Master Chief. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be doing this helmet in a little bit of the neck area. Of course you can continue on. Why is my camera out of focus? I have color changing lights. You want to see this? I thought the blue looked pretty cool. Make it red. Aww. Now it's pink. Ready? 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 I'll make it red. Hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really don't know what I'm saying anymore. Maybe we should make the room purple. Maybe that'll help my brain think. Let's see. Um, mm -hmm, not purple enough. Wow, that is purple. I don't have anything else to say. Bye, guys. See you next time. Alright, so this is going to be pretty self-explanatory, but we are going to take a basic green face paint and just kind of blotch it all over our skin. We don't have to make this even because Master Chief doesn't have a perfectly even coat of paint. And I took the Snazaru brand of- So then I'm going to take a airbrush paint and I got it from Custom Airbrush. You can get it online, I just got um, a pack of it and this one is just green. And now we're going to take a basic eyeliner and we're going to draw a rectangle from our hairline to just past the middle of our forehead. Then we're going to make two smaller rectangles next to it and uh, they're going to be slightly slanted. And then we're going to make two triangles off those ones and then we're going to make a smaller rectangle and a smaller triangle underneath the ones we just did. Then we're going to draw a line across our nose and then we're going to make two slants inward and then draw another line across. And basically we're just going to try and make a, um, a square around our nose eventually. From the last lines that we drew on our nose, we're going to draw two straight lines down. And again, when you get to your lips, just remember you don't want to follow your lip line. And then we're going to start drawing in his eye shield. And so it's going to be kind of just a slanted, you know, just think of a giant pair of like snow goggles. And that's kind of what we're drawing. And then we're going to draw two more lines. They're going to be smaller and a little bit further away from the ones that we did before. And then I'm taking a green eyeshadow. It's just a basic green eyeshadow from e.l.f. Um, and I'm just going to start coating my face with that to set in the paint. And now I'm taking a makeup remover wipe. And I'm just going to take away anything that's inside where I want the goggles to be. Because the goggles are going to be gold. And now because I have thick black eyebrows, I'm going to try and hide them with, you know, Elmer's glue and powder and stuff. Eventually I take it off and redo it probably about two or three times. Now I'm taking a liquid eyeliner and kind of just touching up things that I did before. And now I'm drawing two more lines with that liquid eyeliner and putting small little curved lines on the very end of my nose piece. Now I'm making our nose piece look a little bit more square by connecting it properly around my nose. Now I'm working on my eyebrows again. I'll be doing that so much throughout this video because my eyebrows are just black. Black as night and that's just how they've always been. Now I'm taking a yellow face paint from Snazaru and I'm just kind of dabbing it all over. You can't really tell because Snazaru's um, yellow is just very watery. And now I'm putting white on my eyebrows, you know, because I'm going to keep messing with those till the end of time. And then I took a Snazaru body stick, I guess is what they are. It doesn't really say what the name is, but it's in the color gold. And I'm just going to pretty much color in my face with it. And my eyebrows. And then I'm going to take my finger and just smear it all over. Mess with my eyebrows some more, getting that gold up in it. Now I'm taking the liquid eyeliner once again and I'm going to be outlining the top of my mask. I'm taking the liquid eyeliner also and shading around the corners of the metal pieces of the helmet. There's going to be a lot of shadows casted because it's pieces of metal sitting on other pieces of metal. That was confusing. So yeah, just basically shading in all corners and whatnot. 
And now I'm drawing on that middle rectangle. It's going to be three lines close together, and then a bigger gap, and then two lines closer together. Then I'm shading in some more using the liquid eyeliner that I placed down. And now I'm going to start putting the details inside the eye shield. It's going to be a line right underneath that rectangle, then two little slants downward, very small. And then you're going to follow the outline of the mask itself in a circular motion. Then on the bottom we're going to do the same thing with a little circular motion around the mask and that straight line over our nose again. And we're going to draw another line down. So now we have three lines. And now we're going to take a basic gray eyeshadow and just dab it underneath the green part of our mask. And then we're going to take the same gray eyeshadow and just highlight underneath. We're going to make it look like there's almost another line. And we're going to get into corners of the bottom parts and make more shadows. And I went ahead and touched up a few pieces with the liquid eyeliner. And pretty much I'm just going to keep shading in other things here and there. And now I'm taking a white body paint from Snazaroo, it's just a basic white. I'm just taking a little tiny brush and I'm just kind of highlighting some po- some pots? I'm highlighting some parts to make it stick out more. And now we're going to color in our nose completely black. And we're going to make a line underneath our nose. And then we're going to make two slants upward into our little square nose piece thing that we made earlier. And be sure to get that paint inside your nostrils. It feels good. And now to make our nose look more square, we're going to highlight a little line around it. Be sure to add points. And we're going to add some of that highlighting down on the bottom of our nose. And now we're going to add little bolts. We're just going to add four bolts on the main line that we made at the beginning. It's going to be some above our lip and some on our chin. Now to start the neck piece, we are going to take a black body paint from Snazaroo and just get it all over our body and make a what looks like a v-neck shape. And just color that in. Then we're going to take the white body paint and we're just going to draw lines all the way around our neck to make them uneven and messy. And then we're going to color in our shoulders the same way we did our face.
Then we're gonna draw a line that's just gonna wing its way out on both sides of our shoulders. And then we're going to draw four lines, gradually getting smaller underneath that. Then we're going to draw a rectangle inside of it. And then we're going to fill the rectangle in, and I'm going to laugh. And we're going to make two more squares underneath the lines that we made. I'm going to take a white body paint and just start highlighting areas. As you can see, I messed up and put one highlight on the opposite side, so I covered that up with eyeliner and just put it on the right side. And I'm going to add some other details to my face using some gray eyeshadow just to make it look more square. And that is our Master Chief. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and give me other ideas on other art related projects. And I shall see you next time.